Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseSteps.com. And this is episode number 451. 451. Of Mouse Steps Weekly. Sponsored by MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. If you're heading, well, you're probably not going to Halloween. You're not, probably not going to make a Halloween trip at this point. So we're going to dive into to the Christmas and the holidays. Mm -hmm. And um, if you're planning to book a trip for Walt Disney World, for Disneyland, today we're all talking about Disneyland Paris. And they do a great uh, a great Christmas over there also. They do. Um, check out MEI and Mouse Fan Travel. They are Disney specialists. They're also Universal specialists. Uh, and they can do pretty much anything. And cruise specialists. So let's get right into it. Disneyland Paris. It's the Halloween season. And here we are about to go into Disneyland Paris well, under the train station. Yes, and so I had done uh, this early um, morning video. Um, so uh, Halloween at Disneyland Paris will run through November 6th and it started on October 1st, which is way later mm -hmm. than like Walt Disney World, almost two months later. Um, but I really love, I wasn't sure because of the 30th anniversary this year, I wasn't sure um, if they were really going to go all in on Halloween, but they did. So I thought that was great. With a 30th anniversary mm -hmm. flair there. You see a lot of the ghosts have a 30th anniversary buttons and hats and things. So I think they did a great job of incorporating the 30th mm -hmm. anniversary into Halloween season, the Halloween festival, they call it. Yeah, I, I thought they did a fantastic job. And we're looking here at the ghosts of Main Street. They have had the ghosts also, some of them in Frontierland before. They didn't do it this time. There's also these new, they're like translucent pumpkins that light up at night. And we'll show that later on after it's, dark. So especially at dusk, it's gorgeous. Um, and of course, Disneyland Paris does a, 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 fab, a fabulous job on landscaping. So you've got these beautiful flowers. And this was a perfect morning to take the video I thought even some of the trees there are changing you could see in the background mm -hmm. so no you did a great job with this this was very early it was the extra magic time so I guess it was at 8 30 a.m. that but you started the lighting was really nice beautiful in in the three weeks we were here uh, we had great weather almost every day not every day but pretty close surprisingly mm -hmm. You know, I'm so glad, though, that they did bring out and incorporate all these ghosts to Halloween because we, we had heard maybe they wouldn't. Right. And, and and they came very late, very, very late in our, mm -hmm. uh, you know, lead up to Halloween. So it was a nice surprise when they started really appearing. Like you had a bunch of them one day and a bunch more. And then by the third day, everything was mm -hmm. out. And I just want to mention some of the um, some of the ghosts are uh, like the uh, the toothache ghosts there. Mm -hmm. Behind him is a dentist. Right. So they're incorporated into that as well. And he's always been in that location. Right. But most mm -hmm. of these ghosts are in a new area, most in town square for this year. Right. Like some of them, again, were in frontier land. We also saw like over the um, Plaza Ice Cream Parlor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, certainly there's, you know, some changes, but it's, they're almost all good changes. And you see that. Halloween Beautiful garden. garland. I love mm -hmm. the garland. That started about five years ago. And there is storytelling, as you mentioned, with the ghosts. I kind of like that. I wish we had ghosts uh, appearing at uh, Walt Disney World. That would be nice. And uh, this ghost is outside of the Main Street, I think the Main Street Emporium. Uh, so really dapper, a dapper ghost. Yeah, they're, they're just a lot of fun. A lot of, like, here we go. We have the mechanic, and he is outside right outside Main Street Motors, where yes. at one time you could actually buy a car from there when the park first opened. Is that true? Because that I don't remember. a rem true story. I do not even remember that. Were you there in 92? I was not, not till 2002. So it was a short-lived thing, apparently, mm -hmm. but you can look it up in the, the history books. Hmm. That would have been interesting. Hmm. You could just buy a car and leave it in France. I like how the stages are also set for Halloween. We're going to see one of the shows that's part of the parade later on on these stages. But as we were there, they had the uh, the, the previous, the 30th anniversary show. Dream and Shine Brighter. Dream and Brighter, Shine Brighter which so, we we've saw the very last performance for this season. We were there sort of about half and half. So for Dream and Shine Brighter and the end of that mm -hmm. for the 30th anniversary. And then for it really was split down almost exactly down the middle. And then Halloween. Um, but just to watch Halloween being prepared was was really fun. This was fun climbing up the fort in Frontierland. You were the the uh, cause of this because I tried to get you to do it several times <laughs> before that. But because I went ahead of Jeff this time, I climbed it, 
And then and I you let, knew I'd come up after you. I, I didn't know what you were going to do, but I knew it was that worth it. it was I wanted great, to go up there. There were some great shots up there. But it was hard to get you to to decide to climb. There's a lot of steps. <laughs> there was, there's always, that's one thing about Europe. Lots of steps. There are a lot of steps. Um, that was Fort Comstock. As you're entering in uh, to Frontierland, you've got these these pumpkin. Uh, they're kind of like scarecrows. I see a hidden Denise having a little a little tea in the background oh. there. Not uh, I my pure leaf. Pure probably, leaf. It looks uh, like imported I, from the U.S. I just brought a few. That of them. was early on in the trip. Clearly. Yes, yes, because only for like the first few <laughs> days I had it. And of course, we have some more uh, pumpkins here in Frontierland. Very nice. There is. They have May tea, but they do have pure leaf, but not. Um, not uh, unsweetened that I found. And it's time to look at the characters. It is now October 1st and we're starting the Halloween festival. This was the first day and the very first meet that we did was Chippendale in their ghost outfits. I see Philip back see there from DLRP yes, fans. I see him too. So uh, <laughs> Chippendale, uh, they are in these new ghost outfits. They have had similar outfits in previous years. Not, not I don't think when we've been going, but right. before that. Um, so, you know, they've got the 30th anniversary going on. They've got that purple. Again, Disneyland Paris, great job of incorporating the mm -hmm. 30th. I think almost all the meet and greets have an element of the 30th with the Halloween. I mean, I think even the colors with the purple. So now we're looking down uh, Main Street. Now, Chippendale, very popular, just as some of the other character meet and greets. I would say this is the most popular, the longest lines for any meet and greet. Although all Jack of them, Skellington all of them can pretty. get very long lines, but this this is consistently long. Except on Max the very first was not day, too bad. I don't think people knew. You know, we didn't even know exactly what to mm -hmm. expect, but we were fortunate to get in this line right away. I don't think Max's line is as bad as some of the others, uh, or as long. Um, and then uh, Stitch is very long. So, and Goofy was not too bad mm -hmm. when we waited. So it just depends. Chip and Dale, though, extremely, extremely popular. You have, he's called Bon Bon Goofy. And you even see a ghost behind him. I love which that. I, yeah, mm -hmm. which I really like. Um, and so he's at his candy making machine and he's dancing around. He's always fun. Every year I look forward to the candy Goofy, Bon Bon Goofy. And Goofy meets in two costumes he's and we'll the, show that he is the master of the quick change mm -hmm. artist because he will go all the way to frontierland and change into his skeleton outfit we'll see that in just a few minutes it's funny to me because it's like there's a lot of characters they don't have but they have two goofy characters and i would recommend yeah, outfits i would recommend if you want to meet goofy if you don't get there early uh, first thing in the morning to see him try later after the the uh, second if there's two parades right after the second parade. And it's only two parades on weekends, which, I mean, it makes the weekdays. Mm -hmm. it, it gets pretty busy during parade time. So, uh, yeah. And then there is Max, which I didn't find Max's line ever. He wasn't too, too, he wasn't, he was probably the least long line of any of the characters. Maybe the Cheshire Cat also didn't have that long of a line. It, it, it just depended. You know, I mean, Maleficent was also extremely popular. Mm. Oh, so, very popular. Yes. Um, this is Max's costume is probably about four years old now. And I remember we when we, the first day we were there. It. Yes, I remember that, too. We've been here for about five different Halloween seasons now. Um, a couple of years ago, we only were there for like a day or two of it. But other times we've been there much longer. I love the Halloween festival I, at Disneyland Paris. It feels like home. It feels, I think I'm the most relaxed and happiest at that time. It's just, it's just a fun time. The weather's great and the, I love Halloween. So it's, it's just really, really nice. This video footage we shot actually a few days before Stitch had started meeting a little early. And I was going to mention that I also love the changing of the, the leaves. Oh, yeah. You know, the autumn the coming in was foliage. amazing. And not in Disneyland Paris, or not in Paris itself, we did not see that. And you'll notice some big uh, 30th anniversary logos in the uh, Stitches background mm -hmm. there. So that's a uh, very nice new, probably the, a one, one time only thing. That used to be Minnie's yes, I backdrop, remember. That's like true. let's say about five years ago. So Minnie used to be here and then Stitch took over maybe four years ago or so. Stitch, incredibly popular. Yes, I we waited over an hour and a half for this. I believe he and Max start early though at 8.30. So it's better to do it be if you are able to do early entry, which means either you're staying at a Disney resort or you have the like the Disney Infinity Pass, um, you're able to get in. Choose one and go straight to the line. Right. That is my advice. Especially, st I would go straight to the stitch line if and, possible. And if you come in at 8.30, if he's starting at 8.30, that's really 
you know, once like everybody comes in at nine thirty, that's the times right now. Then it gets even. I mean, longer. his line was almost all the way to, back to Fort Comstock at one hmm. point. I mean, that is a very long line. I did not see we that. We were we were on our way when uh. I got in line. You were still doing other other things. Mm-hmm. Still, just so much fun. I, I saw that you had him pose with a mannequin, and he's just uh, it's worth the wait. It really is. He gives you a lot of uh, a lot of time. Good interactions. And we met Mickey and Minnie, and they are uh, they call it the mariachi costumes. Mm-hmm. So. I think Mickey is not guaranteed. Like, Minnie is guaranteed. She's, like, on the app. She's on the sign, but if you ask the cast, they'll say, yes, Minnie will be there, but depending on the day, Mickey will join her. Maybe not, though. But we always saw Mickey Mm -hmm. with Minnie, and everybody we talked to met both of them. So it's really good to see them both. I think it really makes for a fun meet and greet. And they are not afraid to dance. It didn't take much encouragement to get them to do their uh, namesake dance there. Well, I mean, they do it just coming and going from Cowboy Cookout. And and also, I want to give a tip. This is something I started doing in uh, California when we were just there for Halloween. I would ask the photo pass photographers if they can take some photos of just the characters, especially if I was alone and you weren't with me with the mm-hmm. nice big camera. And they seem to like doing it, and you get some really nice shots you know, bonus shots. So not all of them have photo pass, but uh, most do. And here, here he is. It's Goofy in his skeleton outfit. First he has the candy, and now he has his skeleton outfit. And he is uh, right next to Cowboy Cookout. Now this one is not on the app. It's not necessarily advertised, but uh, you know, he, he seemed to be there during the weekend. We didn't see him during the week. And also just like Devil Donald, he is not advertised, but he comes out only when the parks open until 10 o'clock. Saturday nights. Saturday nights or during the busy uh, Halloween, the mm-hmm. week uh, leading up to Halloween is a big uh, holiday week and for I saw, Disneyland Paris. I saw Captain Jack was out today yeah. also, and we have not, we did not see him out the whole time. So I do miss Cyril, who was the pumpkin oh, car- yeah. carver, who so was talented. so talented. So I hope he's still around. I don't know if he is or not. I've not seen anything about him in quite some time. Maybe some of our listeners can uh, can answer mm. that question. So we. Will... I always loved watching him uh, carve pumpkins. Now this was one of the biggest surprises. Jack Skellington, massive lines, so popular. I have met Jack Skellington and Sally, by the way, many times at Disneyland Paris. Never have I seen his line this this uh, this long and i know the the guests go through here but it was still long after it was they did it, that it would have been at least an hour and a half at least when we arrived to, i've never him i have never seen it this long and um i would say that even about some of the other character meet and greets not all of them but certainly i met him in well, march this oh, this year right. and it was I a heard. it was a walk up i met him with the uh, but my my good friend, the Duffy guy. Oh, right, Robert. Robert. So um, here is the Cheshire Cat, who, you know, you mentioned that the line was not quite as long. And, and part of the reason is he's really off the beaten path. He's down by Casey Jr. next to a door that leads off stage. It's just, you know, you're at the end of the... You're at the end of the trail here at this point. You know, he used to appear where Maleficent now Mm -hmm. is appearing. And the line was much longer there because obviously you could see him, see him Mm -hmm. coming and going. So, uh, yeah, he's he's really, uh, he's he's way out, as you said. But worth it, worth the effort. So much fun. And he has been around for also about four or five years. I do think he was better where Maleficent was. Maleficent normally would be in, um, she had brambles, right, for the last number of years, but they didn't have that this year. So um, they put her over in in that location. Right. And hopefully those brambles can be be returned in the future year. I hope they will return. I love the, and I like the smoke effect. That whole Mm -hmm. area was was great. So, and speaking of Maleficent, here she comes. This was very interesting. Even though it was a, uh, this was uh, before Halloween started, this was sort of like a soft opening. There was a line. It didn't look like a long line, but it took a long, long time. And by the time we got to Maleficent, it started to rain and rain pretty hard. As a matter of fact, I think we were maybe there was one party after us that still met her. You can see and the it rain. Was kind of called up, <laughs> but it's perfect. It was it was actually so much fun. Perfect weather for Maleficent. She conjured up this storm, uh-huh. and we had a, a really great interaction. She was fantastic. It wasn't perfect weather for me. We didn't bring any umbrellas. Well, we both we got brought nothing. Soaked. Yes. <laughs> we were completely I was drenched. like, after this, it was like, 
like, okay, time to go back to the hotel and change. Which we did. Yes. <laughs> that was, and then we, you know, dried off and then came out back later on, uh, later that night when the rain stopped. But anyway. She was really good. So good. And I think this was the shortest any time uh, I have seen this uh, this wait. Because once, once October 1st came and she was on the app, it was always really all long. the way to small world. I mean, a very, very long wait. But this this was a, a long wait. and um, But yeah, it, I mean, the line was probably double in other times. So I guess there's no real advice to give because... Again, you're going to have to wait. Yeah, you're you just, wait. You're just going to have... There is no, uh, no solution. And then also, uh, before Halloween started, we had an opportunity to meet another villain. And here he is. It is Gaston. Gaston was was really fun too oh and, so much fun gaston always a a uh, fun meet and greet and so yeah and and so you don't really meet gaston during the event uh just like some of the other villains they're in their villains lair and so you can interact with him and you might meet him just for you know a, a hello right but, so we're so lucky to yes. get this with uh, with gaston and the evil queen we'll show the evil queen also those were uh, you know kind of test meet and greets before halloween started this was the week before halloween I, I, uh, and we'll talk about the villains uh, is it the villains lair i think it's villains lair no no it's the villains den oh sorry villains den villains lair villains den it's Close the enough. same thing Close uh, enough. <laughs> so uh, you can see small world back there you know, they were taking that tarp down little bit by little bit while we're there. And you can see rain on this day, too. It seemed every time we met these villains, rain happened. Gaston, you're about to... He even has an umbrella, but Gaston needs not carry his own umbrella. <laughs> he has handlers for such a thing. Well, now he doesn't even have the umbrella. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Like, all the women were like, woo, Gaston. Yeah, well, actually, <laughs> you were a part of that, No, I No, I wasn't. <laughs> I just thought it was... I thought that was funny. No. He was really good, though. No, it was a, uh, it was excellent. I, I really enjoy the villains. Disneyland Paris historically has had some of the best villain encounters I have ever had. But I miss the the face hag. Oh yes, was fantastic. That goes without and I would, saying. I would love to see her come back. All right, so this is a time you were at the hotel and you were not uh, here. This was after one of our uh, one of our mornings. I was early, probably shopping early I think or something. You, so I was able to meet the evil queen all by myself. So this is when I decided I was going to ask for some help with the video and the photo pass. And everyone is always so helpful with uh, with that kind mm -hmm. of thing if they if they have the setup. So and the Evil Queen was great by the way, as always at Disneyland Paris. And again, Evil Queen also does she doesn't do a regular meet and greet uh you know for Halloween. They are in that villains Den. Yeah, you'll see her come out. I'm Why actually, do I say lair? I'm going to show, well, there was a villain's lair at something else. I think at that the Oogie Boogie Bash, they may have had a villain's lair. better, yeah. villain's lair. Well, maybe so, they, like, <laughs> they like Den. So you, so you might have a little interaction, but you're not going to have this type of a meet and greet where you can go up and talk to her and get maybe an autograph and... And all that right uh, now. Yeah, this not was like, uh, not like this. Very, very lucky because mm -hmm. there was we, we nobody told us there was no sign or anything. I just happened to see uh, her walking out and doing mm -hmm. leaving actually, and I waited around thinking maybe she would come back out, and then she did. Actually, I saw it online beforehand. Is that, that how we found out? I believe with, DLP with her report maybe. that it, that Something is like possible. That. Uh, somebody mentioned it, and I'm like, oh, Evil Queen might but, be but out. Where you told me she would be. Not the not right, the place. but maybe she changed or something, or I didn't know. So here, uh, here is that villain's den, uh, and so the characters come out, and it's sort of like you an get three villains per den appearance, and it's like an introduction right now. So you know they come out, and for like a minute or two, they're dancing around and posing and all that. Then they come down to the rope, and so and sometimes they took away some of that rope. Mm -hmm. By the time we left, um, they started doing that. So maybe guests could get a, a regular picture with them this, this is a it is not my favorite I don't, setup i don't it, think it's a good setup it, so. it can be extremely crowded mm -hmm. i'm talking about maybe 10 rows deep of people and i never saw a 10 but I no saw the it, first day you weren't there for the uh, october 1st that was absolute bedlam there when it was uh, that busy even if you have only one long line of people that doesn't even guarantee that you know one line along the rope with no deep yeah they may or may not choose to interact with you, it, you it's just it's, i never interacted never, with any of them you at can't the rope. pick the villain you want to see right. either you don't know where they're going to go they so. you do they'll go for the kids mm -hmm. which is fine 
I didn't ever in, end up interacting with any of them. I took some pictures. Now, there were some fun interactions. Yeah, there Here's were. Drizella here, and I guess she was somehow offended by that uh, very... Uh, uh, the the but, pink? Yeah, it was. A, I guess it had princesses oh. all over it. So she was not a fan of that autographed book. So she was taunting the uh, owner of it about throwing it in the trash. I thought it was quite funny. And I, so I think that um, if they did a regular meet and greets, I think it would be a lot better. Um, you know, because especially at this rope, let's say you are three or four deep, there's no way you're probably going to get to meet anybody. I would rather see it, even though this was really fun. This was the most fun of the entire time yeah. we had with the, the villains. You know, it just, it, this is not as busy yeah, as sometimes it Yeah, you can see that line. It, I mean, it is it's busy, a, but it's not crazy. It's a long line, and for just the three villains. So, not recommend, to me, this is a one thing at Disneyland Paris I would, I don't really recommend, although you can do it if you're there. You might as well do it. Well, but. I mean, it, you can certainly see the entrance. Like, this is a the mm -hmm. different entrance. You have Cruella. You have uh, the Evil Queen. And, of course, Dr. Facilier there with a new hat. And the characters are great, you know, but it can be very disappointing. It's sort of like when Maleficent Donald would come out. And instead of having a line, Maleficent Donald had to choose, choose you. you. Right. And it took me <laughs> almost two weeks to finally be chosen. I had to get help to get her to choose me, too. But Him. Mr. Curious, uh, it, Curious it, Excel, I think, helped out with that somehow. Yeah, like you would stand around and maybe Maleficent Donald might choose you, but probably would not choose you. Yeah. So you would have to keep trying and trying and trying. Instead of having a line where you know at some point you are going to meet that duck, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's, I prefer that. I think it's even if you have to wait a long time, you know, instead of not knowing i do like this little entrance show it's though cute. so to me with the fountains right, and everything it, i mean when it when it all is happening and the music mm -hmm. let's get wicked you know that was the same music that they played for the projection show and we'll see that projection show later on in the show during the one of these i was in front of the castle or to the other side of the castle mm -hmm. and i could see the fountains and they looked beautiful even just you know without the villains and i could hear the music and I so I like that part. I love that they use utilize a stage, and I love um, you know hearing the music. Um, yeah, I, I quickly like realized that, that the meet and greet part was a bust, but I like the little show. So I would stop by any time I could see it. I would watch the two or three minute show, and and I would just move on. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of my advice. And the characters are great. The characters are great. You know, it's just I think the setup is not. And for me, the highlight the highlight of the whole Halloween festival is right here. Mickey's Halloween celebration, which is part cavalcade, it's a full cavalcade, but then they have the show stop as, you know, since uh, Pirates and Prin the Pirates and Princess uh, event, uh, you know, certainly they do that now. And so it's great because you can just enjoy a cavalcade or you can go to Central Plaza and, you know, enjoy the show stops. Or sometimes you can do both. Right. Or you can see the cavalcade twice if you run down to the end. There was so, one time we saw it. Three times. We did see it, yes. I love this. I love Mickey's uh, Halloween celebration. So, um, it's so yeah. fine in the fall. How yes. can you not? It is very harvest, uh, you know, themed. It's not Halloween when, when you go to the, see like the Boo to You parade or the uh, the villain parade at, uh, at Disneyland and Oogie Boogie. This is really a harvest type right. parade. It is not really a Halloween parade. And, you know, in France... Halloween really isn't so much a thing. You know, they don't celebrate Halloween like we they uh, like we celebrate Halloween. Yeah, I Halloween. just learned that. I talked to my friends who actually live in Paris. There is zero trick or treating. They they don't that is not something that they grew up with and do. So uh, it's a, you know, it's a special thing for for the people in France to go and enjoy some Halloween here at Disneyland Paris. Is what what I'm told. Right. No, well, I knew for a long time that Halloween wasn't really part of the Parisian culture. Um, you know, they don't really have pumpkin pie and, you know, all that. So when pumpkin they come here... Pumpkin spice they have, though. Right uh, at well, the Starbucks. At the, at the Starbucks, yes. <laughs> so, at, you know, there's probably some areas that have that. Just like we have friends who will have a Thanksgiving dinner, even though Thanksgiving isn't a France culture even thing. Even the Paris airport had pumpkin spice. Uh, at the Starbucks, probably. No, not at the Starbucks, oh. as uh, where, where we bought our 
our food. This we're getting way off topic. Yes. But uh, what, where did we get our uh, pret? At oh, the pret de manger. Yes. Anyway, back to the parade. It is the Winnie the Pooh segment. There are um, a number of floats, and again, you have the pumpkins and all. But it, again, it's very uh, the the music and everything is very harvest. You've got many back there, like this and a bal- cornucopia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's it. That's the that's the theme of this. And but the uh, costumes are amazing. Beautiful, really, beautiful cut. So th- colorful. Mm-hmm. Just stunningly, just like Disneyland Paris does. And you know, with Dream and Shine Brighter, they had really fun costumes. They really think about the costumes here and the music. And so I enjoy it so much. We we watch us so much, just like we do all of the the cavalcades yeah we always say we're not going I know. to fall into the trap of watching these because then we don't know but other they're things. so good mm-hmm. they're so good this one uh was quite a long wait to get this spot actually my good friend roni from dlp delicious said jeff if you want to join me i got a great spot and it was i mean it was a, like an hour and 15 minutes but it was worth it and but at the same time i went down to the small world mall i waited about um 10 minutes 12 minutes and then I followed the parade thinking I'm leaving the park now. I was going to go shopping or something. And instead, I end up with this great spot at Central Plaza. And you taught me that. Tra- and we uh, did it like three, three more, more times. times. <laughs> yeah. And we see Chippendale and Clarice there and some more dancers. And you're about to see it. I am reminded of Phantom Manor, but that is not what it's they call it. It's Mickey's Illusion Manor, Illusion but it Manor. is. It, I mean, it is like Phantom Manor. You've got the Phantom. And you've got um, you've got Melanie. You've so right. yeah, Melanie. Certainly, mm-hmm. uh, it's inspired by Phantom Manor. It's very based on Phantom Manor. But you have Mickey and, and Mickey changes colors. You see him in a mm-hmm. purple outfit there, and then he's also going to appear in a red outfit and a uh, a green outfit. And you've got Pluto as a gargoyle. Yes. And uh, I remember when we first saw this, we were there for the first. We're there for a lot very of firsts. First, yeah. Because uh, we spent a lot of time. In There's Paris Mickey, for the Mickey, quick Halloween change. season. Mickey there. And it, this is just uh, really a, a terrific parade. And we're nearing the end here. And uh, again, we'll probably show now the Central Plaza. That is correct. You are very mm-hmm. smart. Yeah. <laughs> Am I? Is that is that is that? By true? the way, night. I've seen video of this at night. These mm-hmm. floats beautiful at night. If we can ever. Well, we're, we're, there's talk. There is high-level talks of perhaps we going to a Halloween soiree next year. Well, if we go, so we did uh, two a Halloween soirees. If that is made to happen, that would be very nice to see all this at night. Well, it, so this is all included with your day ticket, but there are two Halloween soirees on, I think, the 30th and the 31st. And so you can, you know, buy a ticket and then you get a, something different. So also the, the line holders back here. I love they're, them. Yeah. They're, the, they're the best. We once followed their, them the whole way from where we saw the parade, as you mentioned before, to Central Plaza. That was great. Once. No, no. Many. Well, oh, many I, time. like three times or four, four times. But there was one me. time when they didn't stop. We could have followed them all the way from the beginning to mm-hmm. the end. If oh, we that's wanted right. To. We, and we may, we could have. We should have. And here is a look at the first stage. You have, again, you have the Phantom, you have Melanie, and you have the uh, the dancers, I guess you would call them the, the line, line holders. Yeah, I don't know what else. The rope holders, rope hold- the I'm, line I'm, holders. I'm, I'm, maybe they're the zombies. I'm sure there is an official name. We'll have to find that out. I, I have no idea. But they're really terrific. You know, the per- all the performances are, are fantastic. And also, um, like I'm just going to mention, for Christmas, Mickey's Dazzling Christmas Parade, same thing, you know, you have Central Plaza utilized and Dream and Shine Brighter uh, when that restarts as well. And you may notice a change from the last time this was shown. You have a lot of smoke and a lot more pyro than uh, than we've seen. I think the last time this was done fully was back in uh, 2019. And Right, they, they had two years off. I don't even remember what the smoke and pyro situation was at that time because it's been quite some time since we've seen it. But look, look it. at all that. I mean, it's, there's quite uh, a bit. It's quite a bit. And it, it, as you saw before with the Phantom one, there is like a, a smoke that kind of stayed over that stage for most of the performance. I thought that made it really nice, the, a nice bonus. The fireworks, when they did them, the first shot always scared the crap out of yeah, me. Yeah, like, very I was just loud. Like, ah! <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, I mean, the, we were there for the very first one uh, ever of this whole thing just now, and it was, it. I did not see it coming. It I, was loud. Every time I did it, that first time I was like, but then, after, <laughs> There's right, more for the pigs. After the first time I was fine, but I just, I just couldn't get used to that first shot. 
So, but anyway. And the pigs are always great dancers. The pigs really, even in Mickey's Dazzling Christmas Parade, they, they definitely know how you to know dance. You know who's even better of a dancer than the pig? Clarabelle. It's the cows. No. <laughs> no, don't She's do there. that. She is your favorite Clarabelle. And her presence. Oh, no, it. Horace Did you see Horace there, jump yeah. in the air? Her presence made it a beautiful. It went from a gloomy day to a nice and beautiful mm -hmm. blue sky day. That's what Clarabelle will do. Yes. And you also have uh, Daisy there. Great dancers. And from this angle, you were right next to me, actually, for this one. And I had seen it two days in a row. I enjoyed this stage so much. A lot more guests now know to go to Central Plaza. <laughs> yes. It used to be they didn't know. They would just go along the parade route. Uh, but now you find a lot more in the middle. And I like Small World because not so many people went over there. Mm -hmm. I could usually get a spot really at the last minute. And here's a little bonus now that was uh, new for this year mm -hmm. was the smoke effect. And they started that with the Jungle Book Jive, Jive I believe. Yes, yes, that was the first time and, Jungle uh, Book Jive, right? Which I loved. I now love they Jungle use it Book. for everything. They find yeah. a way to incorporate, even the Christmas after mm -hmm. we had left, they found a way to incorporate the uh, smoke effect. And it, right, the colored, uh, the col I don't know if they call it like the colored fireworks, colored smoke. Um, but here it is and at night. And the lights night. just turned on yes. on Main Street. You talked earlier about dusk. I well, love dusk we are here. going to see some dusk into nighttime. And as you mentioned, they have all, all of these translucent uh, pumpkins mm. kind of uh, glowing. Beautiful. I think, you know, especially, I think dusk was my favorite as far as the way everything looked. But we were only there a few times during dusk because... I'm much. I'm a morning person. Right, we like to open the park. And uh, by rope then, drop I'm like tired, yeah. and I'm ready for dinner at the room. Well, it, and... it's, it takes a while for dusk to happen mm -hmm. there. You know, it's not right early. now. Right now, it does. So now we're going to take a look at a different area than uh, we looked at before in Frontierland. This is also very beautiful after dark, so I decided we'd show this one uh, with the lights. And this is more of the Dia uh, de los Muertos uh, decorations, which is they have a lot of them. And so um, we went a different way in Frontierland earlier, and here we are going through, um, like we were mostly here again during the day. I only saw it lit up a little bit. Um, but really the, the decorations here are fun. Very Coco inspired, Day of the Dead type of a thing. And right, and so in the past they have had a Coco, the Coco puppet, the Miguel puppet with the puppeteer, but they did not have that this, they didn't, they were not there this year. But I feel like I just saw him because we did just see him at Disneyland. We did. And, during the uh, uh, Coco pr presentation. Yes, that was really great. So now it's the uh, villain's projection show to kind of uh, end the villain part or the Halloween part of the uh, evening. So Nightfall with the Disney villains is a new, uh, it's like a pre-show to Disney Delight. And Disney Delight is a pre-show. <laughs> you know, the Disney Delight is a show. It's a pre-show to the pre-show. Pre yes. And so then you have Disney Illuminations, which is the main event. But this was really, look at this. Yeah, it's great. And the music, the Let's Get Wicked, the big rock. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, uh, we'll link to all this. It was really great. I enjoyed this. And especially this is the, uh, the viewing that we have with our annual passes, the Infinity right. Passes. So we had, in this case, we had front row viewing. Can't beat it. It really is amazing what they do with their castle. And you've got those big fountains and the fire and the fireworks. And they really do, and the projections, everything, it, you know, I love, and again, we're not there that often at night, so it's not like we were doing this that often, um, but it was really nice to be able to get that great spot um, with the Infinity Pass, and we were able to stand because it was wet on the ground because it had rained. Yeah, I had, that done, was very I had helpful. done this a week later, and uh, everybody was sitting because it didn't rain, mm -hmm. and it was not good at all because, I mean, for me, if I am going to sit there for a long time, it's a hardship to get back up. <laughs> So I did not I want did. that. So there was a bunch of other uh, older guys standing around in the back. And that's what I did. And so I, I wouldn't have been able to get as good of a video had, right. I, uh, had, had I waited for this that, one. That's good that we were able to. <laughs> and you didn't even go. And, I, and I, I showed you a picture of how it was. And I was like, I think you were going to be happy that you didn't mm -hmm. go. You would have enjoyed being on the ground for 40 minutes if, I, if you no. watch all three things. I, I watched some of it from um, Town Square. So I could see it not as good. 
But I, I saw it really well the one time, and that was fine. Anyway, overall thoughts, all this included with your day ticket. No extra upcharge Or your fee. annual pass. Right. And... It's, uh, it's just with, with the day admission, you get everything we just saw here. Right. I think it's great. I love Halloween at Disneyland Paris. And I do, I can't too. wait to go back. And we're going to probably show, because they decorated the resorts this year. Oh, yes. We'll show um, that next week. Along with some stuff here. I really uh, fantastic. You know, I just love, I love Halloween there. I love Christmas there. I, I just love being at Disneyland Paris and, and Paris. Yeah, I mean, it really feels like the season, too, mm -hmm. because it really is fall. You know, here in Florida, the palm trees don't uh, change, their, the palms don't mm -hmm. uh, change color the, quite like this. The leaves on the trees were so vibrant, and I really, I love fall there. So thank you to our sponsor, MEI and Mouse Fan Travel. Check them out. Uh, head to their uh, website for a no obligation quote and they can help you with really whatever whatever you need. And, and really, now is the time for Christmas. Mm -hmm. If there's any thought of doing Christmas, I would uh, get a hold of them right away. Yes, the Disney, at Disneyland Paris I or think we should. Disneyland. I wish, I wish we could, but uh, we can't. But I, wish, nice. I wish we could too because Mickey's Dazzling Christmas Parade at, uh, at Disneyland Paris is wonderful also you know the entertainment design paris for me is a cut above and or several cuts above i just enjoy being there and uh, the entertainment is is a large part of it so as far as halloween we have seen a lot of halloween starting in early august with two mickey's not so scary halloween parties then we went and saw the uh, halloween at uh, disneyland the uh, halloween time they call it there and my and honestly the highlight of all of this was for me the Oogie Boogie Bash. That was the best Halloween event I've ever uh, attended. It was wonderful. And then of course the Halloween, the Disneyland Paris Halloween Festival, all included, no extra fee for that. I thought that was uh, amazing. And uh, certainly the best Halloween that's not a party that I've seen. I mean, it's nice to be able to do all of it. Um... I'm not sure if, you know, I love Oogie Boogie Bash. Like, I would have done two Oogie Boogie Bashes, but to be at Disneyland Paris, I think, for the... We've Mickey's not done Halloween a soiree, so if no. we ever do one of the soirees, then we can really compare that. Yes, hopefully next year. So thanks again for listening. Have a great week. We will see you all next week, and happy Halloween! Happy Halloween again. The last couple months, right? <laughs> yes, almost Christmas.